Hello guys, The Critical German here and welcome to Is It Worth It? Today we take a quick look at the anime Magia Records Season 2 and I will answer the question if the anime is worth watching for you or not. Quick disclaimer beforehand, only the first episode released when I made this video. Magia Records Season 2, so... Is it really worth it? You already know that I wasn't a big fan of the first season and I think it had many problems. Season 1 just introduced too many characters and the pacing was weird. When you compare it to the original series it uh, gets even worse because it is near perfect storytelling. It's uh, not easy having one of the best series of all time as a predecessor. When you want to hear my full opinion on season 1 of Magia Record, just click on the link at the top right corner. The finale of the last season was pretty interesting and at least created some tension and hype. So I was looking forward to see where the series goes next. And yeah, in this new first episode of the second season, the anime tries really hard to let us remember that the original Madoka series existed. We only get to see the original main cast and none of the new characters from Magia Record. I see this from two different perspectives. Okay, sure, as a Madoka fan I'm glad to see the established characters back in the spotlight. But the first half of the episode doesn't bring much new to the table. Basically it was just the 11th episode or something of Madoka retold. So it was just an explanation of what Kyuubi really wants and the entropy stuff. When you haven't seen the original Madoka and started with Magia Record, then you must be really confused AF. When you have already seen the original Madoka, then it's kinda just a retelling. Um, did I really watch the first episode of a second season of a spin-off Madoka title? Well, it doesn't feel like it. That's for sure. Just like my a voice who doesn't really feel like speaking because on Saturday I did too much karaoke. Anyway, the second half of the episode was really good. We get to know how the original magical girls fit in the world and story of Magia Record and on top we get fight scenes with Sayaka, Humura and Madoka. This is nice for the moment but I might see a problem there. When the original cast also comes to Magia Record then there are even more characters and especially that was the problem with Magia Record in general. The new characters like Iroha, Yachio and the others desperately need character development because we need nearly know nothing about them. They need more depth. Otherwise, they will completely go under next to the original cast. And in reality, Magia Record should center around those new characters. But now a completely new plot from the perspective of the original cast is introduced. The one where they want to save Mami. This sounds like a structural nightmare and I don't think they will handle it competently. They should have either focused completely on the new cast or should have left the focus on the original cast. They are already established characters after all. And yes, I know the series is based on the story of a mobile game. But that doesn't mean you can change things to create a better story. It is another format after all. But anyway, I recommend Magia Record Season 2 to you when you have already seen Season 1. The outstanding visuals are the same as in the original series and who knows, maybe the second season surprises us and will be better than the first one. And yeah, it's always a pleasure to see the original cast on screen. That was my short opinion on the anime. What do you guys think? Do you agree or disagree with me? Let me know in the comments down below. If you think my content is guile, leave a like and subscribe. My fantastic end card will do the rest of the job. I'm leaving now, tschüss macht's gut.